Here's something cool I found the other day. When I first found this, I wasn't sure what it was. But I thought it was pretty interesting, to say the least. I give you a multi-disc CD changer for your computer. This uses a similar technology to what you would see inside of a car stereo. A slot loading drive with a mechanism that moves up and down to read different discs. But, it's IDE. So today we're going to be taking a look at installing this in a Windows 98 gaming computer. Seeing as this is my all-purpose Windows 98 computer, it's not going to have a lot of room left in it. Oh yeah, I forgot how full that is. Alright, we'll get started by popping out the faceplate. And I'm going to go ahead and actually swap out that really yellow one. There we go. And we'll slide the disk drive on in. I had a feeling it was deep. <laughs> All right, now let's get to installing them drivers. All right, so the safe mode boot worked. Uh, may, might be some kind of weird driver thing. We'll find out. Go ahead and install the drivers. And see if that fixes it. All right. Yeah, well. We're good. We're not good. Ugh. First, let's go ahead and copy the contents to the drive. Hope we can get away with using Windows 95 drivers. So you read me. Uh, install for DOS. Well, uh, uh, hopefully it works. Win 95 CD. Oh, okay. That seems pretty easy. God, oh, man, just double click changer.exe. That's easy. Older, mm, uh. well, we can always keep it and change it later. So, boom! All right. Uh, hopefully, that's it. Don't need that now. Let's reboot and maybe it won't hang. Okay, now it's time to test the disk drive. All right, let's put our first disk in. It should be something that I have two of, and that's not. That big of a loss in the first place since this is a compilation album. Ooh. Alright. That's looking promising. You want to use a, a disc that you don't care too much about for the first time uh, for any multi disc CD changer because they are notorious for dying in horrific ways. Um, let's see. No, it didn't load anything. That appears to be that one. Oh, yeah. We have CD audio. Looks like that's probably going to be Winamp. Well, yeah, no CD DV. Shocking. All right. Well, that's working. You can see it blinking. Cool. So. Now, let's put the other one in there.
Oh, that feels weird. Two discs and one drive. What will they think of next? Yep, there we go. Now, what if I go back to this one? That seemed rather instant to me. F5. Okay. I'm going to play that. Then, okay. And I'm going to play that. I'm not hearing it making chunking sounds. It's, there's no way it's that quick. Ah. There we go. That's cool. All right. And let's try this. Cool. All right, I'd say it's working. The motorized door is really cool. That is a nice touch. All right, now let's go ahead and try out something that needs multiple discs. I'd say installing Half-Life 2 might be kind of fun. So Half-Life 2 here is installable on Windows 98 and needs five CDs to work. So let's go ahead and load it up. We'll put disk one in the normal drive, put the four other disks all in here. Here we go. I think it's busy scanning all of the disks, so it won't let me open the Explorer window to choose browse. Secondary games, and we'll do HL2. Or am I installing Steam here? You know what? I think this might be installing Steam, in which case I'll just want it on the regular drive. Uh, I guess it's just program files. All right. Well, let's, yeah, sure. All right. Let's do that. Uh huh. Shortcuts. All right, finish. All right. Oh, now it won't let me choose the location, but whatever. All right. All right, here we go. Now it'll be cool if it auto finds discs two through five, but I don't know if it will. Did you see that? It just automatically switched over to the next drive. Oh, that's awesome.
And there we go, done installing. I'll have you know that install took 53 minutes in real time. Okay, let's see if we can actually launch it, because I don't know. Not enough memory to run DOS prompt. I don't want to restart and see what happens. That's not great. Okay, you know what? We're calling the video there. Yeah, so CD changer uh, worked, and we were in, able to install Half-Life 2. Um, don't know if it runs on this computer. Um, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. Maybe I need to do a full reinstall of Windows 98 on here, because I have never had these ha problems before. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned, it's a very legacy install. It's on its third hard drive. Um, maybe it is just time to reinstall. Start from scratch, wipe the hard drive, get it going. I'll need to pull off a lot of files on there, but... Yeah, I'm not putting any more time into getting that Windows error fixed. So, hey, we proved the disk drive works, so that's cool. I gotta admit, this video didn't go as smoothly as I'd hoped. But, in the end, we got the drive working. And you gotta admit, there's something pretty cool about a slot-loading CD changer for a computer. I'll see you guys next time. Let's go ahead and get all the Half-Life discs out of here.